Hey everybody, this is John Andrews, Social and Digital Media Manager for Redport Information Assurance. Uh, today, I just want to do a really quick novice tutorial on uh, how to secure your home router at home. Uh, the other day, I just really was surprised to see that I was able to connect to an unprotected router uh, from my neighbor. And to do that, like all I really had to do is, be because I'm on a Mac, it might look a little different if you're using a PC, but wherever you go to view the local routers within the range of your computer, you would just go ahead and click it, and then right beside the name of them would either have a padlock or some sort of a security icon uh, saying that it's protected, but if there was none, that means it's unprotected, and I could easily have just clicked on one of these and either performed some sort of illegal activity or just used their bandwidth for free and they probably on the on their line could have experienced some sort of lag or bandwidth issue and that could really become a problem when dealing with some sort of uh, business material or uh, some sort of work um, duties that they need to perform and they don't really have the bandwidth required to to perform that duty and really I just want to go through the process of setting up a security key for your router if it's not protected already or you can change it if it's a password that is really hard to remember or you just really want to feel like having some sort of personal key for yourself uh, to, to hand out so in order to do that just go into your browser and depending on what router you have is going to be different for everybody when setting it up but basically you need your IP address and in order to find your IP address if you don't have it just uh, go ahead and go to just go ahead and google IP monkey and what this site does is is it takes your IP address for your computer or your system and uh, you're able to use it within within your browser so just copy and paste your IP address, uh, Command C for Mac, and then Command V. Just paste it into the address bar up here and press Enter. And then what it's going to do is it's going to ask you for some sort of authentication uh, uh, parameters here. And you're going to type in a username or password. And this is where it's going to be different for everybody. If you've already set this up whenever you've had your internet and a cable company come out and set up your, your internet, uh, it's probably just going to be by default and in order to find out what your login credentials are you need to figure out what kind of router you have and you just really want to look at the brand name a lot of the most common ones are Netgear, uh, Linksys, Cisco, uh, some Dells I mean it, there's really a lot that you can choose from uh, from either Best Buy or wherever you get your router, Walmart, whatever so in order to find out what your login credentials is first go physically look at your router and look at the brand name uh, for instance I'm just gonna use a I'm just gonna use an example and I'm just gonna use Linksys okay so now you know that you have a Linksys router but what are the login credentials so just go to a website called uh, routerpasswords.com and what this site does is it gives you all of the, the default username and passwords for that uh, router so select your router make since you have a Linksys you would just scroll down to L's and click on Linksys or Cisco like if you have a Linksys Cisco one so let's just type on that one and then find password so depending on what model you have if you look over to the far right you will see the default username and password and in this case uh, for this model, the username would be admin and the password would be admin. But if you have this model, which I really can't see a difference, but maybe if this doesn't work, then use this one. Uh, but it looks to me that these are the only two to choose from. So I would just go right back up here and type in admin and then admin for the password. And if it and if it was right, you would just log in and you would be able to go into your wireless security features and change your password like it, it's really as dummy proof as possible when you get in because then you can see oh my wireless connection let me go ahead and click that 
and then you have the ability to change your password and also you can change the name of your uh, network name so once you find your network name you can see that there's a password uh, part below it that you can change but once you have that secured it you're really you're really in the run for having a secure connection because you really don't want people uh, accessing your network and performing any type of illegal activities whether that be uh, pirating, pirating stuff online uh, getting illegal content doing illegal activities uh, so because you know if, if the authorities were to come to you and say hey you're performing illegal activities on your computer you would have no way of proving that because me on the other end is doing some sort of you know illegal activity that you have no idea of what's going on so just be smart about it uh, this really should be as easy as possible uh, but I would go in and show you how to change it but I don't want you kinda of looking at my uh, login credentials and the name of my password and all of the other information within the system so I uh, hope this helps if you have any questions drop a comment below but remember to subscribe to Redport and don't forget to visit us on Twitter uh, at Redport underscore IA for information assurance and then also like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Redport so I uh, hope everybody has a good day. Hope this helps. Everybody have fun. Stay secure. Thank